Well, it's here, the Legends Pinball Micro from At Games. Here's my review on this awesome pinball machine. And here we go. This is exactly how the box is going to look when FedEx drops it off to your home. It's going to be marked at Games Legends Pinball Micro. You have a picture of the pinball table and a look at the side of the box. Same thing. It's going to be clearly marked at Games Legends Pinball Micro with the dimensions of the product, the weight, and the country of origin. So we'll open this up and we'll view this together for the very first time. All right, opening this up, see how this is packaged. Looks pretty good. You have the uh, bird's eye view on your end. Looks like the power cords right here. And then two pieces here, a little bit of hardware. Instructions, it's packaged pretty good. We'll take this out and set it up. Well, here's everything out of the box. This was packaged really good. And I know it's gonna be hard on your end to, to see, but this is a lot bigger than I thought. I mean, I figured that the screen size was gonna be completely playable on my end. I kind of matched it up, drew out a picture at work, and just, just so I could have some kind of a visual of the screen. But this base, I mean, if you just look at like how tall this is, this isn't bad. And then you look at the back glass here, on, on here, you know, we have our Legends Ultimate here and then the side art. And I went with the Space Invaders. And we'll go through the directions here. Maybe get a screwdriver and set this up. So here's our instruction manual. And it's literally just a couple of pages here. We're just going to take the back of the back glass off, put these two together, get our ribbon wires, get everything plugged in and put the panel back on and we should be good to go. It does come with a $5 coupon for their store. So, I mean, I do have my eyes on the Dr. Seuss along with Operation Wolf. So I will be getting more games, but I wanna see what's the 50 games included on here. How does this compare? I mean, and just looking at this again, it's just, this is a great size. It's not too small. Just want to point this out that when you're putting this cord in, when you're plugging this in, there's only one way it's going to fit. There's a notch on the top here and a notch on the bottom. So, or you can reference this video, the majority of the red, the thick bunch of red will sit on top. And then you're going to end up plugging these two pieces in which will just snap together, but there's only one way this will go in. So nothing to worry about like frying out your board. And when you do put this back glass on, there's a dowel here it's sitting on and a dowel here. And then one screw on this side and one screw on that side, that is what's holding this, these two pieces together. And that's when we plugged in these two. I mean, this is, it's all assembled. We just have to put this back piece back on here. All right, I mean, this is a really fast setup. Only thing left here is to plug in the main power cord and turn this on. So the Legends Pinball Micro is all set up now. I registered it, hooked up through Wi-Fi. I have a username and I just did their update. I just wanna go over some specs on here before we check out the games. So the height at the top of the back glass is just under 23 inches high. The width is 12 and a half inches wide and the length is 23 and a half inches long. So corner to corner is 15 inches. And side to side is seven and a half. And just looking at the back glass where those grill covers are on the speakers, they look really good. The back glass looks sharp. And these are your main controllers that you're gonna be using for this product. You have your diagonal on the top and then these buttons in front of you. This will go in and out of games, go back to the home page. It will become second nature. It's just every arcade is different. And once you get the hang of this, you'll breeze right through this. And look, you have two flippers on the right hand side and two flippers on the left hand side. 
So I have the title skin art. So on the right hand side, it's all space invaders. And then bubble bobble on the left hand side. So on your main menu here, you do on the top here, we have our tables, which I'll get to in a second. Arcade net, which is a subscription. And I think they give you a free month to try it out. A lobby. all your inputs here, an app store, and your settings. So going back to the tables, you have five pages here. The first four pages have 12 games and, and page five has two. And the thing about this is, is when you're highlighting a game here, look at the back glass. So every game that you're playing, it's gonna have that theme. And you're gonna see your score here. So the one knock I'm gonna I'm gonna give Arcade One Up on their on their pinball is the attack from Mars, for example. That's what you see on the back glass the whole time. There is an LCD screen that keeps score, but with the at games, it's gonna be whatever table you're playing, and you're gonna get lost in this, and it's actually gonna feel like you're playing a real pinball machine. We'll go through the five pages, the 50 games that are included on here. And just to take note, there is no actual plunger on here. It's a plunger button. The only thing I'm going to knock is it'd be cool if there was some kind of music playing on, on this main menu. I only have experience with the Attack from Mars pinball. There is a nice like 80s soundtrack vibe going when, when you go back to the main menu. But the other side is, is you can add so many more games on, an, on a Legends than the 10 that are included on an arcade one up. And I know you can do the hack, you can get all 30 games on there, but I'm really thinking that this is the this was the right move getting the the at games. This was a battle I went through and I just thought that this one would be the way to go for me size wise just to get the arcade one up in here or the ultimate legends pinball it was just too big for what i had room for and then we get to page five and these are the last two games on here so i just want to spend some time on gameplay out of all the reviews i just want to spend less time on like the build and, and all these other options I just want to go over some of the games, how it's going to look on here, because I just, just so everyone gets an idea, like, here's how this is going to look. Here's the games that come with this machine, and you can always add more. You can bring your own, or you can buy from their online store. And it's just going to take a little getting used to on these controllers just to get back to, you know, like to quit a game and to go back to the main menu.
And there we go back to the main menu here. So we'll check out some a couple other different games here. And we'll just, I want to do a rundown on the size here because I don't think I've shown exactly how big this is yet. Really good picture. Is that skill shot?
All right, I want to do a size comparison here to an arcade one up countercade and just look at the difference here. It still looks bigger to me in person than what I'm seeing in the picture right now. But I mean, it is just, this is such a big size pinball machine for being called micro. Taking a look here on the side. I mean, just look at the difference here. This is a great size pinball machine. I mean, if you're on the fence, you know, and you see that sale, it comes back down and they knock the $50 off. I'm recommending this. This, you're going to be happy with this choice. This is a great pinball machine. And it's, it's got a great size. The back glass LCD is almost the size of the screen on the countercade. And it, I mean, just to put that in perspective for you. And, and you just look at how crisp that is compared to a BOE. I mean, it looks pretty good. The actual playing field here at Space Invaders, I got to tell you, this might be my favorite game on here. You just get lost playing this. You you just, you know what, it, it's like what they say when you're playing a countercade, that, you know, I mean, the controls are, are regular size that you would get on that cabinet. And, and yeah, you know, the 8-inch screen, but you, you forget you're looking at an 8-inch screen. When you're playing this, it... It just, it's your range of motion here and, and that's all you see. And that's the same with here. Yeah, it's 15, 16 inches that way. But when you're standing in front of it, I mean, this is your whole vision right here. And it's, it's pretty sharp. I'm, I'm blown away with this product. All right, we're back in the arcade. This is where the At Games Micro Legends Pinball will reside from here on out. And... I just want to show you with me standing next to it here, how big this really is. Cause I mean, when you say micro, I mean, it's misleading. This is a lot bigger than I had anticipated in a good way. I did toss around like how, what pinball can I bring in here? Can it be the arcade one up? Can it be the full size ultimate legends? And I'm glad I went with the micro because this room is, it just doesn't work for that three quarter scale. And I didn't want to stick this in a different room. I have a great spot in here for this pinball. And just with me standing here, if I can get this propped up somehow on an iArcade stand or an MVSX stand or possible legs to bring it to my waist with the range of vision here on the screen, in the back glass, it's going to seem like, you know, I'm playing a real pinball machine. Like this is going to be my range of, of vision here. And I think this is going to work out great. It's, it's comfortable playing. And this would be like the ideal spot for me playing this micro legends pinball. So I'm glad that I purchased this. I think this is going to work out great. Again, I just, I tossed and turned between arcade one up and the micro legends pinball. And I'm glad I went with this. I thought this was going to be a little bit smaller than it was. I kind of had sketched out like an idea of the screen and I said, okay, I think this is doable. And it turned out to be a little bit longer than I thought. And having played the attack from Mars pinball arcade one up this man, I mean, I, I I'm liking this a little bit more and no, no, nothing against that pinball because that was on my radar for a long time. But the size was just too big for this room, and this is going to be perfect. I just need to figure out how I'm going to raise this up. And I want to do another video to follow that up. Once I, once I figure this out, we'll raise this up so it, it's, it's like a comfortable... Hopefully, I can do this standing up, like some kind of stand, the IRK, the MVSX, or some kind of legs. And I'd like to purchase a couple more pinball packs and show some of that gameplay 
just what to expect on those three pack, 20, $25 purchases. This is awesome. And I'm glad I got it. And, and it's just another brand for this arcade. We've got an I arcade in here. We got arcade one ups and now we have an at games. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you guys next time.